Good morning, good morning to all my revivers, the one that's been rocking and the ones that just started rocking. I hope you guys are enjoying all my videos and today I have a plus size hack for those thick ankles. If you are a queen that have thick ankles and want to rock the cute anklets but you struggle with finding some nice ones, let me give you a great tip on how you can fix that. So your girl's getting ready to go celebrate her 40th birthday and I did not have time to sit down and really make an anklet, the one I wanted. I may and I may not still add another one to this, but I'm not sure. But for this, I'm going to share with you how I purchased this cute, dainty, classy anklet from Silver Mountain. Not sponsored video. Found this on Amazon and decided to go with it because everyone said it was real sterling silver. You know how people say it's silver and then when you get it, it is not. It is fake and it fades after time. And I make real genuine silver um, anklets and stuff like that too. A lot of my clients still have their anklets after years. I'm talking from 2008. And I still have one as well. And where's my anklet? This is an old anklet that I made years ago, which is in that video that you see. This is an old anklet here. Um, but guys, I don't have time. And this was actually one that I created that I had purchased some silver on I cannot remember what site it was and it ended up being silver plated and I was really upset about that because yeah that really made me upset and what I always like to do is I like to buy stuff and utilize it first before I make it for my clients just to see if it holds up to whatever the manufacturer says and yeah after time it did fade on me so that was really something that made me a little upset but anywho they say this is sterling silver I'm going to show you guys what it looks like it is a dainty little um, anklet, and I thought it was too cute. Um, something I can just grab and have for my cruise on the beach and, uh, you know, not too much going on. You see it? So I'm going to really show you guys what this looks like on my ankle and how tight it is and why I decided to share this hack with you because this right here is not cool. And I still want to look sexy, and I don't want it to look like it's going to pop because that's what it looks like. Let's get over there and let me show you guys. So this is what we're working with, and it is kind of tight. It is kind of tight, and I'm not feeling that. I need some extra space. And so I'm going to show you how I get that from, as you can see, you see it? It's like kind of tight. Try not to show my toes. I didn't do them yet, but yeah. This is what we're working with, and I don't like that. So we're going to fix that, ladies. So let's fix it. So what you're going to need is some tools, and I have some jump rings i'm going to go with the smallest one and i'm going to get two of those i had one already ready hold on yeah little fella left me okay and so i got about a good inch oh come on a good inch of chain here and i have my tools and all i'm going to do is go to the end you don't want to go with the end with the clasp you want to go to the end without the clasp so here is that extra one inch of chain you want to go in and you want to put your first jump ring right into there so we're going to grab this bad boy here and we are going to put it into this first hole just like that it's so simple and here's the thing i know swollen ankles and thick ankles just doesn't apply to plus size women because i know women who struggle with the swollen ankles that are not plus size um it could just be your diet and all that good stuff so yeah um so this hack can actually be for anyone and i recommend because this hack is really frugal this chain you can get this chain from like michael's hobby lobby you can get jump rings from michael's hobby lobby ebay amazon walmart they have like tools and stuff this is like one of my first tools from way back in 2006 7 um and i love it so i'm just putting one at one end and i'm going to put the other at the other end because what this is going to do is give me a place to put the clasp so you want to make sure that your jump rings are tightly closed like that and then you have a place to cl clasp it like that so we're gonna put this back on my ankle and see the difference and what it looks like ladies oh what I wanted to tell you is by regular size by regular size if, if I didn't say that why because I noticed that when I bought this this was 13 
13 I want to say 12.99 yeah 13 but the ones that were like nine inches were like 11.99 so get the regular size if you know that your ankles swell get the regular size but if you know you have a thick size ankle and you want to get as close to your size as possible okay buy the thicker one the longer one um but if you know that your ankles swell and they kind of go up and down get the regular size and extend it because technically this and you don't even need to buy a big thing like this because I, I make jewelry, so that's why I buy that one. But you can buy the, this is by Beadalon. Uh, this is like, I want to say $4 and you can get it 50% off with a Michael's uh, gift card, not gift card, coupon or um, Hobby Lobby. So it really doesn't cost much. And if you coat this with a clear um, nail polish that will last a while and then if it if that part starts to fade just take it off and put another piece on that way you can always have the size you need in your anklet and guys i'm going to be sharing so many frugal hacks with you guys on how i stay fashionable for less and not pay so much money so stay tuned for those and all the different hacks that i use to get prepared for my 40th birthday cruise so let me put this on and stop talking and let you guys see what it looks like all right guys so look we have all this good space. This is what we want, okay? This is what we want, ladies. All that nice, good space. And yes, that is my foot in the actual um, thumbnail. Yeah, that's when I used to wear my toes, my toes long. My natural toenails, they get long. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the hack. And that's for those thick ankles. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pass it along to another diva who has a struggle with finding cute um, anklets and want to be able to wear them but don't know how to get the size she wants. This video will be for her. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. So I had to get <laughs> my leg down. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be bringing a lot of frugal hacks to you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a lot of different things that I've done and ways that you can save money because you can live a priceless life to the fullest frugally. You don't have to be spending all these coins on stuff that you're not going to use every day now if you're going to use them every day yes spend the money on it and invest in those things but if you're not then don't waste money waste money on stuff that means more like time um spent with family and experiences if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe because it's all positivity over here and if you are new and you do subscribe make sure you hit that bell because we don't want you to miss any of these great videos that cpr puts up and guys, I am so random with my video, so you definitely want to make sure you have those notifications on. Make sure you are sharing and make sure you are always thumbsing up the videos because it helps me to get more people to the channel to see all these great things I have to offer. And if you are new as well, and if you've been rocking, check out the playlist because I'm noticing a lot of people don't realize how many DIYs, how to's, frugal hacks and outfit of the days that I used to do just to see how I am, who I am, and what my style is and see that your girl has never changed since she's been on YouTube. I've been consistently being me and who God chose me to be. Remember, stick to your script because you are the best at it. And I will see you guys later, Gators.